Hi everybody. So fun facts. I was going to do an unboxing video for my dear friend Britt, who I've known since high school, and I recorded the whole video and there was no sound turned on. So that's a thing. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do instead is just quickly review what she sent me. And before I do so, I just want to quickly say that um, when it comes to packages and sending things in the mail, so even postcards or cards or things during COVID-19, here in the United States, there's safety information regarding that at like the U.S. Postal Service, so USPS's website. Um, and there's going to be probably information about that you can find anywhere, so related to COVID-19. It is another weirdly cold day in Las Vegas, Nevada, and... Uh, Luckily, my dad, during senior hour today, was able to put on a mask and some gloves. I wish I could have gone for him. Uh, and get some paper products. We we're actually able to find paper products today. So um, thanks for Albertsons for being open, but also damn it, Albertsons, because everything was way more expensive than it used to be, which I understand there's probably reasons why, but I'm also kind of like... Uh, so anyway... Um, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to go ahead and review what my friend Britt said. Yay! I woke up this morning and I'm like, it's like Christmas morning. I get to go ahead and unpack stuff from my friend and I'm so happy and I'm so grateful. I loved everything that you sent me. <laughs> and just like, oh my god, I just smacked my microphone, so I'm sorry if uh, I just broke a few eardrums. I didn't mean to. So um, I used my handy dandy exacto knife uh, and prayed that I wouldn't make a mistake. <laughs> I was opening this intensely sealed box. Uh, and it was it was just, yeah, okay, so, so one of the weirdest but most amazing things that was in this package that I loved was this King's Quest game. I know that you had messaged me and was like, do you have old computers that maybe you could play things on? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so it's the person who like it's not that old but I know for a lot of kids now they'd be like oh god that's ancient I have a Windows XP tower that I can go and play the original Age of Empires and the original Age of Empires 2 Age of Kings and the Age of Conquerors expansion pack and yes the original Age of Empires has the Roman expansion pack too on it out there in the garage which is what I was doing the other day that I posted elsewhere on the internet being like this is what I'm doing during self-quarantine I'm fine but yeah um and I love this. It's like, oh my god, this is from 1988. They're like, when a trip to England. And also, like, I learned something new. I've forgotten that Roberta Williams was the designer of King's Quest series, I guess, originally. So, female content creators, woo! Shout out to you since 1988 or before, right? For like gaming, yes. So, um, yeah, at the time she had sold more games than any other authoress in computer entertainment history. So that's pretty darn cool. Look at that 80s do. Look at it. So um, I'm pretty sure this is actually one of the games I used to play, but in like black with bright orange because there was no color on the monitor that I used. And when I opened this up, I was like, this made me this made me gasp though because remember like Mac has OS Sierra like Hi Sierra. What is this? What is this? Um, and these discs are in really really good condition, so I'm happy. There's even like original gaming manual and stuff in here. So on the nerdy side, that was great. So I'm going to see about resurrecting an even older computer to try and play that game. It'll be great. You'll have to switch out the different floppy disks in order to access all the content. Oh. It's just like when you used to have a VHS and it was a really long movie and you had to like stop the movie because it would run out of thing and you'd have to switch the VHS to the other one. Like Titanic was like that. Um, I think it's some other ones that were like that. Oh god, my family has a VHS for god knows what reason of the original Broadway Cats production. Yeah, the one with like the really cool face paint and like actual costumery, not the creepy ass remake in the uncanny valley of doom <laughs> that I may eventually watch just to be like, wow. 
<laughs> and be like, I lived through watching this. Um, uh, there was also this much needed sense of humor because of course no package from Brit would be complete without toilet humor. I mean, it's a thing between us. I just, I miss having somebody to do fart jokes with. It's juvenile and wonderful. So, I miss you, Brit. Did your whoopee cushion is so full of shit, it's season two years. So, so anyway. A homemade scrunchie was really cool. You can't see it on here, but it has more gold to it than the pale ass yellow that is appearing on the screen. Man, it is getting dark. What the hell? Desert people, the desert. It can change in five minutes. A hand for the desert. Ah, yes. Ah, ah, yes. It's about as um, emotive, as emotional as, as, as I am, quite frankly. Um, lip gloss. When I saw this, Britt, I immediately thought of that Scott Scotsman, that crazy old late night Scotsman that I miss, Craig Ferguson and the Late Late Show <laughs> with Craig Ferguson because he and his robot skeleton Jeff used to make cracks about flamingos and I, my brain was like, hey, remember? And I'm like, why? Why? Why do I remember this? But I do. And I did. So I had to make you remember too, just in case you used to watch that show. So now you'll know. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm not really sorry. You should just like look up on YouTube, Craig Ferguson's tweets and email jingles. Thank me later. Um, I have another jigsaw puzzle to do, which is good because I'm going to start running out of them soon. I think this one's only, it's only 48 pieces, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Lisa Frank. And you always know that I'm going to be running out of tea, so you sent me a little tea, <laughs> which is great. I had some more lavender um, herbal tea last night before bed, and I was like, but I also know I'm starting to run low on it. So, <laughs> um, And you sent me, because you know, in these trying times, for a lot of people, uh, reading, whether it's horribly both informative and smutty shit on the internet is a form of survival mode, as is for some of us the actual paper books. So, uh, sent me that. I've been wanting to reread the Demonica series, but I forgot that I lent two of them to somebody at Mills College a long time ago and they never gave them back. So I need to re- I need to buy the volume with Shade and the volume with Wraith in it again because I miss Underworld General Hospital vibes. Even in this time, I miss it. Okay. Although the, oh, was it Writers of Deliverance part of that series? Would be weird to read right now because Pestilence. Anyway, um, and then you got me these, which are adorable because you love mermaids and I love the ocean, so this is like perfect. But the sad thing is, Britt, is I can use these on mom, so that's great. But the sad thing is, my nails are so claw-like that I have to use, you know those manicure scissors that they have? Those? I'd be like, wait, am I doing this right? Yeah, those scissors, I have to use those scissors to cut my nails. Even like the really, really um, sharp ones of these that you can get, they dent my nails. Not my, not my toe, not just my toenails, but like my fingernails. They just dent them. They don't even cut them. And me doing this isn't going to make it come off. It's just going to dent it more. So in other news YouTube channel, now you know, Kelly has claws. Okay? So. Ugh. <laughs> hmm. I, when I used to grow them really long, I used to be able to like bend them and they wouldn't break. They would just bend. It was really great when I was like more goth. There's always a part of my heart that is still like that. And that's why I dress a lot like that um, sometimes still, because it's honestly like my favorite way to dress. I admire a lot of different types of alternative fashion or um, ways of being. Because <laughs> I don't feel like goth is just a fashion. I feel like it's a way of being. <laughs> and it's just I feel that way about punk too, actually. And... Um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 
um, I once had a very dear friend who is now uh, passed away that I didn't leave on a good note with. Um, so it's like instant regrets for the rest of my life. But she told me once, she's like, it's okay, Kelly. It's okay, Kelly. Even though you dress like this, sometimes now I know that inside you're still one of us. And she was like hardcore aristocratic uh, goth. All the sun's coming out and I'm talking about her. Oh, God. I miss you, hon. I hope you're safe and okay wherever you ended up. Um, and she passed away a while back. So um, I'm not going to cry. It's okay. <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, on a happier note, I'm going to start my garden soon. Um, in fact, I'm going to do it today because I, I gathered enough coffee grounds to start to mix with the soil finally. And I now have this lovely little friend, and this lovely little friend, to go ahead and put in my little garden area. And uh, yeah, I will be using that clay pot that you made me that was super cool. I'm going to be using that too. Uh, on the woo-woo side of things, I got... I think this isn't tea. I'm pretty sure this is the woo-woo jar of dirt you said you were going to send me. So it made here, if it is that, it made it here in one piece. Um, I need to <laughs> message you again and be like, so what did I do with this again? Ah. <laughs> I'm one of those people that's fairly intelligent, but I have kind of a short-term memory issue <laughs> sometimes. So, I'm sorry, if, when I, if I ever become a professor, heaven forbid, I'd feel bad for all of you, but like, I, I would be the absent-minded professor, but I would be like the one that'd be really chill about stuff. I'd be like, what's going on? Okay, well, what can we do? As long as you prove to me you're learning something. Like, everybody learns differently, okay? <laughs> Damn it, I don't want to touch my face. Ma. Anyway. On the other woo-woo side, thank you for sending me this. I realized, Britt, that this was what you thought the Archangel Michael <laughs> candle was. And then you're like, wait a minute, it's the Guardian Angel one. And I'm like, you know, that's totally fine because it's fine. Because guess what I still have, Britt? I still have this angel candle, Michael the Defender, Archangel Michael candle from Dragon Fairy in Stockton, California before I moved. I am saving it because I have this feeling that I'm going to need it some point um doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing um but it's just I I feel like I'm gonna need to save that red candle so I'm glad you got me this one um thank you uh she know <laughs> you know me this candle person candle person candle woo -woo. um I feel like being like I got a job you know <laughs> so these were cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're cool. I used to want to be a dog breeder handler when I was younger, like a little kid. And I was one of those kids that like when I wanted to learn about a topic, I would get my hands on all the information I possibly could and like memorize it. So I know to this day, most of the dog breeds, most of their histories, their temperaments, what they were used for, if they you knew a lot of them were... Um, working dogs, right, originally. A lot of dogs, actually, dog breeds were fairly utilitarian up to a certain point. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. And uh, and all that stuff. So when I saw this, I was like, I think this might be an English setter. I think this one's an Irish setter. And I'm pretty sure this one's a pointer and not an Irish red and white setter. And I say that because it doesn't have the longer kind of like little bits of tufts on the ears. So I don't think it's the red and white setter, I think it's a pointer. So um, it's not a set of setters. <laughs> if it was, we'd be missing the Irish red and white setter and the Gordon setter. And by the way, my whole life, aside from when we had a rescue sh uh, Shetland sheepdog or Sheltie when I was younger, um, that lost a fight with a Sharpe once, not on our watch before, when, before we rescued it, uh, all my dogs have been SPCA, they've all been adopted dogs. And they've all been corgi mixes, <laughs> so. I have like a huge chihuahua and a not so big chihuahua corgi mix right now. And they're just ridiculous um, brothers from another mother situation. And they're getting older now too. And then before then I had Steinbeck for like 15 years and he died with his head in my lap. <sighs> He's a good boy. Anyway, um, his ashes are actually in the front room. <laughs> his little statue of like a little dog angel. And 
little photo of him and stuff. And not to forget, I also had two cats. I had Tiger and Pris, even though I was allergic to them. Um, and then there was Winston, um, Winnie, the hamster. And no, I did not know about Pet Cemetery when I <laughs> named that hamster as a kid. So I guess Stephen King and I are just on similar wavelengths somehow. And then I had Gabriel the bird. It didn't last very long, the poor thing. I think I uh, ate a spider or something because I, I saw a spider in its food and then it died not long after. And I was like, oh. And then I had a bunny named uh, Peter, which then became Peta because I found out it was a girl. <laughs> and um, when I was really, really little, my mom had a bunny rabbit named Thumper, and he used to play fetch with pine cones. So, um, yeah, our current dogs are Adam and Jeffrey. And then I have my fish, Laguna, who's in a 10-gallon tank all by his lonesome because he couldn't play nice with other fishies. He's a rescue fish. Nobody could handle him, and I took him quite a number of years ago. I think I've had him six years now. Yeah, I have, like, a six-year-old fish. Like, no shit. <laughs> it was, it was hardcore. Britt knows what I'm talking about. Britt's like, oh, my God, he's got huge. <laughs> like, he's a big fish. I'm like, dude, he's only grown more since you've seen him. I mean, Horace, your snake is huge. It's beautiful, beautiful albino corn snake is huge. Like, just, God, girl, like, what are you feeding him? Oh, that's right, mice. Um, anyway, love you. <laughs> Here's some more loose leaf tea. I'm guessing these are the ones from the Amenonite. Is the Amenonite or Amish community? Because they are two different things. Um, if it is the Amenonite community, it's because they have one near where we, where I used to live, where she still lives. And, um, the Mennonites have really interesting beliefs. Um, they're kind of similar to the Amish as far as, like, the stereotypes of, making your own clothes and women wearing bonnets sometimes and things except Mennonites can do limited use of technology I believe it has to do with commerce only so you will see them driving a car and stuff like that sometimes but it's a very strict thing when it comes to what kind of technology that you can use and then for what purpose and they did have their own little enclave near where we lived but this smelled amazing like I opened this in the original video this one smells like fall it smells like autumn my favorite season I'm just like my mouth's watering. I'm like, Tee. remember in these trying times, whoop, you will not break the tea. Which fell. But you can always give yourself a tea party, okay? <laughs> or you have a tea party for anybody in your house. So quickly now, the other things I have is another thing of lip gloss. And you sent me bindies, which was really sweet. Um see what else is here uh oh that's right this queen bean thing which totally reminded me of the queen bean in Modesto California that was the coffee house that was my go-to since high school for like over 10 years when I lived there it was one of the first GLBTIQA plus welcoming places kind of like a haven for people originally back when that was not as much of a thing that was accepted in the Central Valley, and it's still kind of not. Just because you're in California doesn't mean shit, people. Everybody thinks that, oh, like California, everything should be okay on that front. I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> There's still a lot of people who are really shitty uh, towards people <laughs> from the community and its diverse members. So. Um, yeah, they used to originally have an Alice in Wonderland theme, so they had like the Queen of Hearts, which is a mocha with raspberry. Remember Rocky used to be the barista originally, and then he went back to school. And now they do the open mic and all this other stuff outdoors. And um, since then, there's been more coffee houses that have popped up, like Preservation Coffee and Tea is also in the downtown area. Um, Queen Bean will forever remain a very special place to me. Um, there are a lot of good memories, and then some ones that are like, ugh. <laughs> so, it's like any place that's from your formative years or that you, like, frequent a lot, right? There's going to be some uh, memories, and then some memories where you're like, ugh. So. And then thank you, by the way. Like, you know that you've reached adulthood when you're excited that your friend sends you socks. <laughs> Lemons. Pucker up, buttercup. Yeah, so, you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? That's what we're having to do uh, doing during this uh, quarantine, this self-quarantine. The frap queen. Would you like fries with that? Just fries? 
Anyone? Anyone? Anyone fries? And then if I cannot rip this out of my ear, a really freaky but kind of is a happy bunny, reminiscent smiley face, even though it's a cat, just the way it looks reminds me of early 2000s stuff. And then Chicago Bulls. These are pot holders. They are lovely. Thank you. Um, I used to love the Chicago Bulls as a kid, and I still do, because Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, all the people. So, yeah, that was everything. Everything? Yeah. Everything that Brit sent me. And um, I'm trying to make sure it was, because there was a lot of stuff. So thank you, girl. Again, um, if you're planning on sending anything through the mail, just... Do your little quick Google search to USPS.com if you're here in the States because it's a United States Postal Service or anything like that to understand like package and letter safety. For the most part, it's fairly low risk. Um, and by fairly, I mean like for non-immune compromised people. <laughs> um, and even still, when I got this yesterday, like my dad volunteered to pick it up because my spine, I can't pick up packages like this. And he put on gloves to pick it up and then he put it out in the garage and I let it sit overnight before I went ahead and brought it in. Even still, it's on the floor, right? It's not on my bed. It's not, you know, like so. And I'm gonna be washing my hands and wiping down everything after all of this. I'm gonna put these socks in the wash. I know that you also sent me a box full of clothes. Thank you, hun. Um, things are what they are sometimes and I'm just, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Thank you, hun. Um, you know, like seriously, like you sent me this guardian angel but like legit you're like some kind of mystical like guardian mermaid angel person thing I swear who's gonna become a nurse practitioner and you're gonna be damn good at it I know you will be you you you've been working in nursing homes and stuff since you were old enough to have a fucking workers permit you just you got that temperament you got that no nonsense crap you know and I but you're just like the sweetest too because you're gonna be great um, so you have a big heart. You always have. I know, I know you always have. Um, so thank you, Britt. Um, for all my watchers who are here being like, what the hell? Why did you share all this with us? I'm just like, I want to share the joy of having a friend, um, during these troubled times because it lifted my heart and, um, hopefully you don't take it as, oh, well, you're showing off and be like, nah, I'm not. I'm actually just trying to share the joy that I feel with you because it's been a tough time for everybody right now, right? Um, I know that Brit's nursing school, I think I've said this before, is online right now, and I know they pushed, pushed back your graduation date and different things, but just like, I am so proud of you. You're going to continue to be awesome. Oh my gosh. And all the nurses who are out there, all the medical professionals, all the folks in the health industry, um, thank you. Thank you for doing what you're doing. And all the folks who have thankless uh, minimum wage jobs, especially in retail um, and food service. The retail part, I've been there, um, but not in this. I'm, I didn't work in a grocery store. I worked at like, you know, build a bear workshop <laughs> and JCPenney's briefly before I was like, screw this. I worked in the fine jewelry department. Um, and that was just because of an accommodations thing, whatever. Allegedly. Don't get mad at me. Um, that is that thank you for continuing to do your work they should be giving you hazard pay i'm so sorry um this sh shelves aren't going to stock themselves for the time being and for everybody who's wondering how am i going to pay for my rent how am i going to do this how am i going to afford my student loan payments how am i how how what about my taxes what about I know this doesn't make me feel much better saying this, but the truth is we're all in that boat together. Most of us who do not have a lot of money are in that boat together. And if you don't have somebody like Brit in your life who thinks of you, who sends you things, who is very kind and caring and makes you feel loved as a friend, um, just know that in this moment, if you feel very alone, if you are okay with it, I give you a virtual hug, okay? Because this time is very um, chaotic and, uh, and difficult for a lot of people. 
So I send love to you. Um, I hope that you're able to take care of yourself as you're able. And just remember that, you know, they're like doing the whole we're in this together thing. And I'm like, what do I have to wear that's like that? And I have come together, little birdies. Because springtime, right? Okay. So, yeah, stop. Hopefully you can hear some birds. Listen to the wind. You know, it helps me. Um, you're not alone. Okay? Take care of yourself as you're able once again. And I love you.